my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to another video on ACS revision in less than 10 minutes. And I seem to be cracking it I think in the last few, I've managed to do it. So today's video is continuation on ventilation or should I say it's compartment ventilation. But before we get into the video, if you've not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading these videos. So, only got 10 minutes and I'm sick of waffling, so let's get on with it. So let's have a look at this compartment ventilation and we'll continue with open fluid appliances. So we've got this scenario first, we've got a room and the compartment, we've got this open fluid boiler installed in the compartment, but we're taking our ventilation from the room. So because it's an open fluid appliance, it needs air for combustion. So we'll need a vent from outside to bring the fresh air into the room. And because this boiler is installed in a compartment, we require two vents. We need a low level vent and a high level vent. Now the low level vent brings the air in for combustion and the high level vent gets rid of the warm air. It does actually help a little bit with bringing air in for combustion, but it's mainly there for cooling. Now, a couple of things different to open fluid appliances being installed in rooms to being installed in a compartment. Now, as you've seen in the first one, if it's installed in a room, we are allowed to deduct advantageous air. When the boiler's installed in a compartment, you don't minus the advantageous air or the seven kilowatts. So, again, we've got our 30 kilowatt net boiler installed in this compartment. So we require three vents. So the vent outside, so vent number one, is our normal vent. So it's 30 minus 7 times 5 is 115 centimetres squared. So that's normal. When it comes to these two and three vents, so vent two is a high level vent. Remember, we don't minus a 7, and this figure is already a net figure, so we don't need to divide by 1.11. So vent 2 is 30 times 10, which is 300 centimetres squared, and the bottom one is 30 times 20, which is 600 centimetres squared. So there are a couple of big holes. So that's, in a nutshell, ventilation for an open fluid boiler in a compartment. We need to times the kilowatts net by 20 for low level vent and 10 for the high level vent. Let's up a notch and look at it passing through two or more rooms. So if it passed just through one room, like we did before, it would be this one. If we pass through two rooms and then into the compartment, we just need the vents to be the same. So passing through, but because we're going through two or more rooms, vents two and three need to be increased by 50% from the outside vent. So again, if we look at the scenario, it's the same boiler, it's a 30 kilowatt net. Vent number one, which is the outside vent, again will be 30, minus a seven times a five is 115. Vents 2 and 3, as we say here, need to be 50% bigger than vent 1. So it's 115 divided by 2 plus the 115 is 172.5. Vent 3 is the same, 15 divided by 2 plus 115 is 172.5. So like we did in the first video on ventilation. And then vents 4 and 5, 4 being the high, 5 being the low is the same as above. We're just times in it by 10 and 20. Pretty straightforward. So that's open fluid appliances installed in a compartment taking the air from within a room. Let's have a look and see when they're taking it directly from outside. So let's have a look at these two different scenarios we've got now. So this again is an open fluid boiler taking its air direct from outside. So we don't need three vents, we only need two. It's a 24 kilowatt gross boiler now. So we need to do the 24 divided by 1.11 is 21.62 kilowatts. 
Then we need for the top vent, because it's for cooling, we need to times it by 5. So it's 21.62 times 5 is 108.1 centimetres squared. So that's your top vent, which is just mainly for cooling. Now your bottom vent, vent which is for combustion, so you've got 24 divided by 1.11 again is 21.62, because we're turning gross to net. And then we've got 21.62 times 10 this time, which is 216.2 centimetres squared. So if you're taking your air from direct outside, the vents are smaller, okay, and you only need two. Now, room sealed appliances in compartments. As I speak, as I film this video, there is no domestic boiler, condensing combi, condensing heat only, condensing system boiler that requires one ventilation for combustion and two ventilation for cooling okay now yes there are a few boilers out there where you can use the air from the room they've got specialist flues they use old chimneys but I'm not talking about that I'm talking about a standard installation boiler does not require air for combustion if it's room sealed it gets its air for combustion from outside so in this scenario here, we've got a room sealed boiler. It's a high water content boiler. That means it's got a cast iron heat exchanger. If they're low water content um, boilers, they don't normally need vents for cooling. But we've got a floor standing old cast iron heat exchanger boiler here. So it requires two vents coming direct from outside. So we've got 24 divided by 1.11 because it's a 24 kilowatt gross boiler which is 21.62, 21.62 times 5 is 108.1 and they are the same for top and bottom because we don't need air for combustion we just need air to cool the room and to cool the appliance so that's compartment ventilation for room sealed appliances, high water content boilers which require vents for cooling, always check the manufacturer's instructions we would also need a, a label on the door in this situation which says don't block the vents. Anyway, last one we're going to look at is the room sealed appliance where it takes its air for cooling from the room. Let's have a look at that. And like I say, finally for this 10 minute video, we've got the room sealed boiler installed in a compartment. So again, this is a high water content boiler, not a, a condensing boiler and it's taking its air for cooling from within the room. We still only need two vents. We don't need a third vent because we don't need air for combustion. So basically it takes the cooler air from the room and pushes it out through the top vent. So we've got two vents and they're just exactly the same. So vent number one, which we've got as a top vent, is 24 divided by 1.11 because it's a 24 kilowatt gross uh, balanced flue boiler which comes out 21.62 21.62 times 10 is 216.2 centimeters squared and again like I say it's the same for the bottom 24 divided by 1.11 is 21.62 21.62 times 10 is 216.2 centimeters squared so that is compartment ventilation in a nutshell so if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If there's any other videos you want me to make guys, put it down in the comments below. If you've not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when I'm making more of these videos. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and why don't you check out our full versions of ventilation on our channel. Cheers guys.